Hi, my name is Jason. I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist or sleep tech. And something I get asked a lot or something that a lot of people are curious about are what exactly do the waves look like of a person sleeping? What does it look like when they stop breathing? Uh, you know, what, what does all this stuff look like? So that's something I'm going to show you. Um, this first person is going to be someone who has normal healthy sleep. Then I'm going to do another video of someone who has abnormal sleep or frequent sleep apnea. This is going to be the normal sleep. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is a normal healthy sleeper, relatively young, uh, in their 20s. And I just want to take care of a couple quick housekeeping things. If you have any questions, uh, please direct them to my website. It's www.freecpapadvice.com forward slash form and then join and then go ahead and ask it there. The other thing is um, up here on the top is where the stage is being shown. I've already actually scored this. So what we're just going to be doing is reviewing it for time uh, for time reasons. This top one is the left eye. This one going across here. This one is the right eye. So you'll remember the electrodes to the either side of each eye during your study. This is the chin. Uh, this is the electrodes that they place either on, under your chin, or hopefully uh, back near your masseters. Like when you bite down, you can feel the muscles bulge out. It's a better spot to put them. Uh, this is the frontal channel. This is placed kind of on your forehead, about at your hairline, um, probably about six centimeters apart. Uh, central channels are placed kind of on the crown of your head. Um, above above your ears, about um, 12 centimeters in the center of your head. Uh, the occipital channels are on the back of your head. So what we're looking at with the occipital is typically before the person falls asleep, you're going to see a lot of, um, you know, actually, let's let's go ahead and we'll, we'll get to that later. This is the airflow. This is the breathing. And then uh, thoracic is the belt around your chest. Abdominal is the belt around your stomach. And then you have the right leg, left leg. Uh, EKG for the heart, um, and then the blood oxygen levels. Um, up here at the very top is a hypnogram. It just kind of shows what uh, the stages are as we're going. So this entire page from here to here is going to be 30 seconds. What that represents, the lingo, is uh, it's an epic. So an epic, one epic is 30 seconds, two epics is one minute. So right now we're looking at a 30-second page or one epic. So I'm going to page forward. The person hasn't even fallen asleep yet. So this is all wake. Once we get, okay, here's a good spot to show. So this person, they're awake. Um, their eyes are closed, as you can tell, um, because this is alpha. Alpha is with the eyes closed, and this stuff shows up very well. Um, it's 12, I'm sorry, it's 8 to 12 cycles per second. It's pretty strong alpha. You can see in the central and frontal channels, it's a little more difficult to see. So right now they're going through, actually they're not going to do biocalis because they can't hear. So they're skipping them. It's not exactly what we like to hear, but hey, it happens sometimes. So right now you can see that their eyes are closed, they're relaxed, everything's pretty stable. Their breathing is normal. I'm going to increase the uh, sensitivity on these so you can see them a little better. Okay, so what we're looking for is for this to diminish, the alpha to diminish. On this next page you can see the difference. And now it's much slower. You can see some space in between these. Um, the frequency is now below eight cycles per second, which means sleep. The eyes are slow and rolling, and you can tell they're pretty relaxed. So you can see the difference. This is wake. Just look at this bottom line, the occipital line, and now that's sleep, sleep onset. So something distinctive about stage one sleep is that you'll see something called vertex sharp waves. I actually don't see these all that often. I don't see any here. I just see the mix voltage, low frequency, rolling eyes. So what we're next going to be looking for is another stage change. So we just keep going in 30 second epic, or I'm sorry, just one epic at a time. And we'd be saying one, 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 until we find something, Never mind the big red thing. <laughs> that's a... Um, that's a sleep event. We'll get to that later. So they awake and then they're back to one. One, two. Now we call this two because right here you can see a sharp negative. Negative is up. Negative deflection followed by a sharp positive deflection. It's a sleep spindle. You see another one. I'm sorry. That's a K complex. You see another K complex over here. That's indicative of stage two. So we start calling this stage two. Now here's a sleep spindle. It's not a great one, but it's a sleep spindle. You can see it's really fast. 
it's in the range. Um, well, it's fast. There's another, it's like a K complex with a spindle. So something interesting, stage one typically in a normal person, it would be um, five minutes a night, or I'm sorry, 5% of the night. Um, stage two would be around 50% of the night. Delta would be roughly 25% of the night. And then REM would be another 25% of the night. And these are, that was done with uh, normal healthy college students by uh, Dr. Rex Re Re and Kales. So let's speed up until we get to something kind of good. Well, right here you can see they're sleeping and then they wake up. You can tell by, because this gets fast and thick. And I've marked this as a leg movement with an arousal. In general, though, this person doesn't have much. I'm going to kind of skip ahead up here until we see um, uh, stage three. Actually, this is kind of interesting right here. This is something that a lot of people do. And um, if anyone has a data capable machine, um, they're kind of familiar with with uh, the machines that keep their data. And this right here, you see they have a, not really even awakening. It's more of a sigh. They move their legs and then all of a sudden they stop breathing. Well, that's normal. You do that all the time. You do that when you're awake. If you yawn or sigh, you pause breathing for a while because you just don't have that respiratory drive. Well, the machine's gonna pick that up as a central apnea when in fact it really shouldn't be called a uh, central apnea. It's just one of these. So let's get to stage three. So stage three, this person being young, um, actually this should be stage three, I have it marked as two, but stage three is delta waves, which are 0.5 to um, two cycles per second, and they need to comprise at least 20% of the page. So that of a 30 second page would be six seconds. And it needs to have a proper amplitude, but that's, we won't get into that. So this is stage three, you can see nice big slow waves. This is when people are said to be, um, their, their bodies are repairing themselves physically. That's the theory. Stage three. So let's fast forward this and get to some REM sleep. You can see it right up here, this uh, bar up at the top, the black bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. I'll click a little before it so you can kind of see the transition into it. So what we're looking for is theta waves that usually give it away. The chin will drop out, although it doesn't in this particular record. And we usually call them sawtooth waves because of the way they look. I don't see any here, but I actually hear some right here. Those are theta waves. They're between four and seven cycles per second. And then now you see some sharper eye movements. This person being young, they don't really have anything. There's more theta waves or sawtooth waves. The eyes aren't exactly strong in this right here. I mean, they're strong enough, but certainly nothing to write home about. Here's some more theta waves. It's actually what people like to see most. So I'm gonna fast forward on this and see if we can find some more. Anyway, you can see the person just transitions back into stage two. We see some very, very strong sleep spindles here. So nice thick ones, they look like caterpillars going across the page. There's a huge one. You can see them on all channels. This person's young, so you can see their sleep is really pretty good. They're back into delta sleep. If you're an adult and you're worried that you don't have a lot of delta, don't be. Delta is when uh, growth hormone is released, and since, no offense, you're no longer young anymore, you're not gonna be producing nearly as much. So this is very strong, very strong delta. That's why they call them the waves of youth. This is also an interesting point right here. You can see the person wakes up, has a pretty big awakening. So now this is a two minute window. So they wake up and right there, you can see that they have some breathing abnormalities. So this looks like an apnea. It's not, you can see that's extremely thick right in there. It looks like they stopped breathing right here as well. Well, they're completely awake there. Here's something that looks like it would be a rira, except that they're awake during that part of it. And then here they're asleep and they do have a rira, which is counted. Um, with a data capable machine though, <clears throat> it's gonna count all of this stuff as something. So I'm gonna take a look, take it back down to 30 seconds. Oops, we passed it. 
So right here, you can see they're clearly awake and it's flat, looks like an apnea. Again here, awake, looks like an apnea. It can't be an apnea because they're not asleep. That's just an interesting point. Um, if someone does that a lot during the night and they're extremely restless, uh, you're going to have a very high looking AHI, but it's more of a false positive. So I'm going to fast forward again. You can see that there's some REM up uh, over here. We're going to fast forward through that. There's a ton of delta. This is two minutes, but look at all that high, high amplitude delta. Pretty. So here again is some um, REM. Let me see if I can find some large eye movements. There was one. They kind of you can see where they kind of pinch together right there. This person doesn't really have high ones though. There's another nice little eye movement. There's a really a much better one. Typically you'll see these all across the entire page, just dancing across. Just a normal position change. The technician notes that they wake and then move to their back. Okay, here we're back into REM. There's a nice eye movement in REM. Chin's down, theta, sawtooth waves. And then you can see here's a transition, REM. And then right here they have a big sleep spindle. So because it's past this half of the page, it's on this half, the next page is gonna be two. So that would be a normal transition out of REM. Looks like they're actually gonna go back into REM here. And there they do, nice big eye movement notes that more eye movements some theta and then here let's go back here they wake up so this is wake the next page oops I actually called that wake that should be two so you see some uh, spindles anyway that's pretty much what it looks like I'm gonna fast forward again to this uh, Ram up here. There's some much better movements. You can see right here, they're actually, this person's having some sleep disorder breathing events. So I'm going to put this on two minutes and then we can kind of look at what these look like. So here they're going from 95% in REM. And you can see how this channel is decreasing. They're having a hypopnea. Their respiratory efforts are also decreasing. And this goes from 95 down to 91, which is a 4% desaturation, which is gonna count as a, a hypopnea. Then here's another one. It doesn't have an arousal, but it doesn't have to have an arousal as a hypopnea. Now this one is a RERA. It goes from 93, 90, I'm sorry, 97% down to 94%, but there is an arousal, which is what RERA stands for, a respiratory effort related arousal. So it's an arousal, you wake up because of some respiratory thing and you can see that there's definitely something respiratory going on. You can see all the breathing's normal here. Then here it kind of changes, flattens, gets much smaller. Before there's a, probably a snore right here. You can see that this gets a little fast. The legs move, and you can even see it in the eyes. There's an obstructive apnea with no arousal. But this person, their AHI, their apnea hypopnea index was extremely low. Anyway. That's pretty much it. We'll go over more respiratory on my other video uh, since that person has definitely some serious problems. That probably wasn't the most clear in the world and a little difficult, but at least it gives you some idea as to what you're looking for. Um, if you have any questions, please don't don't hesitate to join my forum. It is free CPAP advice forward, I'm sorry, free CPAPadvice.com forward slash forum and then you can join for free. It's quite a good time. All right, thank you.